Hello, my name is Emily Gravett and I am the author and illustrator of this book here called Tidy. And I'm hoping that some of you watched my last video, which was me reading the book Tidy. And I promised at the end of that video that I would come back and teach you how to draw the main character who is a badger called Pete. So this is who we're going to learn how to draw today. So I'm hoping that you all have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. If you haven't, pause the video and go and run and get that and then we shall draw along. Okay, so we are going to start with Pete's head. Now, I think when you're drawing animals, mostly you can break them down into shapes. And the first shape we're going to draw with Pete is his head is a triangle. You can see Pete's head is just a triangle. Have you managed to draw it? That's really good. And Pete's body is sort of a rectangle, but maybe with a bit more curves in. So I draw a rectangle down like this with a sort of curvier bottom. How are we doing? Okay. We're going to put some legs on the bottom of Pete. These are sort of like little triangles, but with little pory type feet on the bottom. One, two, there we go. And we're going to draw his arms. This arm is going to be swinging out a bit like a banana shape. And we're going to draw him a bit like he is on the cover of the book where he's got his hand on his hip. So all that is, is just drawing a curve down to the side like that. And then another one that starts inside that curve like that. That's simple, isn't it? We're going to need to give him some ears, I think. So the first one we're going to do right on the top of the triangle, a little ear like that. And the second ear, I'm just going to put along a little bit like that. Do you look like a badger yet? You still look like shapes? Let's draw his nose on, let's colour his nose in. So if we colour his nose in like this, a little black end on his nose, and then we could maybe colour his ears in too. Now, the one thing about badgers that make them recognisably badgers is that they have stripes on their faces. So we're going to put a stripe on his face, but first, so that we don't colour it in, we're going to draw his eye. So his eye, I think we're going to put about halfway down, a small circle, about halfway down his face, like that. So now when we draw the stripe, we're going to avoid that circle. So we're going to do a line from his ear, down one side of his circle on his eye, and up the other side to the top like that. And then we can colour that bit in, but leave in the circle where his eye is. Otherwise he won't have an eye. And that will make tidying up very difficult indeed. Now we can only see one eye because he has his head turned to the side, but that's okay. And now we're going to carry on. We're going to colour in his rest of him. So leave his head white because that's his white bit, but you can colour in his body and his arms. There we go. I'm going to colour in. I'm probably going to leave a little patch on his tummy that's white because that's what I do in my book but all of your badges will look exactly as you want them to so if you don't want him to have a white patch on his tummy you don't need to leave it there. And I'm going to colour his legs in. There we go. I'm going to put a couple of little lines so you can see that he's hairy and a smile too. And I think he needs a pupil in his eye. The really good thing about eyes is that when you put just a pupil in, you can put that dot anyway, you can put the dot in the middle of his eye and it will look like he's looking straight at you. You can look, I'm going to do mine at the back there. He looks like he's looking slightly backwards at us. He looks a bit like a teapot at the moment. I think what we need to do is give him, like we have on the cover, maybe he's putting something in a bin. I think maybe he can put a tissue in the bin, don't you? Because that's what we know we all have to do with tissues. Put them in the bin. We're going to draw a bin, which is a rectangle that gets a little bit narrower at the bottom. This one. 
is going to be a wire one so it's got crisscross you can do your crisscross any way you like it the thing that i really like about drawing is that when you do drawings it's not like when you do maths and you're either right or wrong i can put some rubbish in the bin when you do a drawing there is no right or wrong so if you find that you've drawn your badger and he doesn't look exactly like my badger well that's okay in fact that's great because we're all different so everybody should look different everybody's badger should look different do you know what i'd really like i'd really like it if i could see some of the badgers that you've all drawn um, i wonder how i could get you to show me i think what would be the best thing to do is either you could take a picture of your badger and put it on my facebook page that's emily gravit facebook page or on my instagram account with the hashtag let's put a hashtag a uh, badger called Pete what do you think that would be really good if you could all do that thank you very much I'll be back soon with another story and another drawing session